everyone, Joe here again. This is going to be video number two, same playthrough, we're just at the cathedral level four, almost to the Skeleton King, so I'll keep this video rolling till we go and fight him, since this will be his first time killing him since playing the beta, since he just got it last night. Uh, I'm going to every bookcase looking for more of these babies pages of training which we turn into tomes of training which means I can get my blacksmith video up finally once I get enough books which I think I'm only about three away now and then I'll be able to do it in the same playthrough and check out all the new items I'll be able to craft and all that good jazz that dash was longer but it does come in handy if there's a mob around uh, I switched my primary skill over to this one because I like killing things quickly and efficiently and this one does more damage per hit uh, it doesn't target as many enemies at the same time but it kills them faster so I prefer this one hopefully a hairy situation up here come on come on Ooh, didn't see that coming. Uh, I died a little bit earlier. We encountered some special zombies with Molten, or Fire Enchanted, one of those, I don't remember which one. But when they died, they like to leave these little balls behind that explode, if you haven't seen that before. And we killed a couple of them all at once, and boom, I died. Fiery explosions all around me equals my death. But he revived me fairly quickly. Ooh, level 10. What does level 10 mean? Passive skill slot. Let's see which one I want to use here. Since I'm not dual wielding, we'll go with that one. I got. That's it. That's it. Just some passive skills. See what he's doing over here. Oh, left turn. Some scrolls from I'll turn it down because I re listened to the recording that I first made, and you can hear me playing. Using some environment effects there. Do, do, do. Death, death, more death. Boom! That's cool. A chandelier like that in my room. Right above my computer. Fiery furnace of death. Um, I don't know if I'm going to release this video or not because there's really not much new stuff to talk about. I didn't get very many new skills or any new skills at that kind of been neglecting the ones that don't work out so well for my play style. Uh, I was talking to Jordan last night about some of the skills. And we had a disagreement on one for the for the, for the, for the, for the witch doctor. And it was Haunt, I believe, which shoots out two little beams that go into an enemy and damage over time spells pretty much. And he didn't like them. He didn't see their use in them. And that was one of my favorite spells. I was using that a lot in conjunction with my frogs and everything else and it worked out quite well because as you know once you kill an enemy with haunt or if you don't know once you kill an enemy with haunt um, if the spell isn't done yet it will jump into the next enemy so if you get a new group of enemies you just cast haunt on all of them and pump out some frogs and it's just death everywhere so I don't know that was kind of my play mechanic with him I don't know what angle he was going at it with but I dug it quite a lot so, if they ever get around to making any other videos, we'll have some different perspectives on some of the skills. Some people like more skills than others. I tend to like the ones that do the most damage, kill things the most efficiently, and keep me in the fight and killing stuff. It's just my playstyle. That's how I roll. Boom! That's effective. Jordan just got his new computer set up. 
he just put it back, put it all together. He's gonna have his cousin double check, make sure everything's plugged into the right port and everything, and then he'll have his new machine up and running, playing this beautiful Diablo 3 game, and hopefully he'll get some videos going. He's gonna join me for the lore video, we were gonna do that last night, since he has more insight than I do, and he made some connections that I did not, so he's a valuable asset to have around when it comes to lore videos. But, the whole website fiasco and all that, I wasn't able to record it, as you know, a little chest event here. Page of training, beautiful, I love it. I will forever live in anguish for my last attempt to honor my day with you. Knock as we lay him to rest Knock in the chamber, <laughs> he manifested as a hideous skeleton demon. Uh, so yeah, he'll have some videos. I know Ken was working on some videos. No idea if those will ever see the light of day. Let me check my map here. We can go this way. Um, Dan, Dan's actually online right now, hopefully making some videos. Uh, I would whisper him and ask him if he is, but I wouldn't be able to see his response because of this stupid chat bug. Spelled chat wrong, by the way. Where I can't see anything I write or anything anyone else writes. Um, I'll check the forums after I make this video. I have to just little play through here and see if that's a known bug and if and or there are any fixes. There are any fixes for it. I can't talk today. I haven't eaten breakfast yet. I have so much to do today. Eat breakfast, make some videos, edit them, upload them. Go dream, drink some delicious beer, eat some delicious food, partake in some ridiculous festivities, um, which is actually going down in about 20 minutes. So I'll probably make, miss the bike, bike race, but I'll still get to eat some good food, drink some good beer, and enjoy some good music, hopefully. Take some pictures of some silly costumes. If you don't know what the hell I'm talking about, go listen to Monk Video 1. <laughs> it's all in there. This is just filler till we get to the frickin' Lich King. Why do I always call him the Lich King? <laughs> just to piss off everybody that hates WoW, I guess. The Skeleton King. Just till we get to the Skeleton King, find his raggedy ass corpse, dispose of him, pop his body for some beautiful loot. Why don't I have a frickin' companion out yet? Um, me and Dan were talking about these little here companion things, and I'll bring this up again if I remember in the companion video that we're going to make where we go through all the ones. I got a little snake here. Um, we were tossing around the idea of permanent companion scrolls. Uh, basically scrolls that aren't one-time use, they're multi-time use with permanent companions. Oh, excellent. Um, little special edition ones, maybe for attending BlizzCon or doing some, I don't know, Blizzard competitions, all that type of jazz. When in doubt, all of the glowing giant hole in the floor. Um, what they would be, they would be like kind of little pets. It'd be cool if you had a little mini Diablo 2 pet. Diablo from Diablo 2, like they did well. Pardon my yawn. But, seeing as this is a Diablo game, they probably won't do that. But, permanent pets, thoughts on it, I'd like to know. I think it'd be a cool idea. And your thoughts in general on the little companions that go run around and pick up gold for you, if you think they're... don't really fit the Diablo tone. I want to know. When we have our site back up and running, you can let me know. Until then... Hold on to your feedback. No, I'm kidding. Till then, post it on the YouTube. <laughs> oh, I really hope we find the Skeleton King quickly. by my once beloved king. Evil gnaws at my bones, and I cannot risk putting my beloved... I'm no Force. I got to meet Force at the Diablo 3 media event. He's a very cool guy. One of the coolest guys I met there. I haven't gone into depth about my... BlizzCon experience, so... <laughs> or not BlizzCon. BlizzCon hasn't happened yet. See how tired I am? My Diablo 3 media event experience. So I'll go into it now. It's good filler till we find the Skeleton King. 
Um, I had an incredible once in a lifetime experience up at the BlizzCon HQ, meeting some of the staff and at dinner. I met first guy I met was Ryan, very cool guy. Cause I got there super early, cause I didn't want to have to deal with traffic and whatnot, since I'd be driving up there from San Diego to. But it only took me about a half an hour, so it wasn't bad. Turns out I was there about a hour and 15 minutes earlier than the event was to be started, so I met Ryan. He let me in the lobby where I was able to run around and take some pics and check out everything, which was freaking amazing. So glad I got there early because if we got there at the same time as everyone else, I wouldn't have been able to get the same experience and check out the lobby while I was the only one there and take pictures of the gallery and everything like that. And then once everybody showed up, they shuffled us all into the theater where they had a pretty sweet presentation for us. I sat right behind Jay Wilson and um, Chris Metzen, which was crazy. I recorded the whole thing and <laughs> in the audio, you can hear me freaking out. I'm like, I'm sitting right behind Jay Wilson and Chris Metzen. I was pretty excited about it. It was cool. Um, who was first to get up? I don't remember who was first to get up, but whatever. They went through their spiel. Then after that, we had lunch. Some little sandwich dealy dealio. Wasn't too impressed by it, but they had a cool little setup in there. They had a portrait of Deckard Kane and the Diablo 1 Tristram music playing. And then Bash came down and sat down, chatted with me after lunch for a bit. And then shuffled us to go play the actual freaking game! which we only got about 15 minutes then I think it was either a tour or the first community uh, Q&A with Jay Wilson happened but anyway I don't remember which event happened first but I think it was the tour took the tour of the campus uh, sacrificing valuable playtime but it was so worth it got to see the Diablo 3 development area which was freaking cool. They had their own little staff lounge with a giant TV and a Xbox 360 and all kinds of cool stuff in there. A uh, bunch of art. Diablo, a giant Diablo rubber suit, which I guess was unveiled at some BlizzCon and then their curator actually found it in a box after they moved to their larger campus. Found it in a box somewhere and was able to take it. Oh, of course we go the wrong freaking way. Was able to take it and uh, put some lights in it, into it, and mount it on a pedestal and all that. So I have a picture of that. I don't know if I'm actually able to release the picture, but I don't see why not, because they had some moments where it's like, okay, camera's up, camera's down, camera's up, camera's down, and that was one of the cameras up. So I'm pretty sure I can release the picture, if anyone's interested in checking that out. I got some other pictures of the Diablo 3 development area and all that good stuff. All the artwork they have on the hanging on the walls. Everything like that. So yeah, after that we got to sit down with Jay Wilson and of course I picked the seat closest to him. He was on my right hand side, my right hand man. Cool experience. Sat down and chatted with him for I think it was a half an hour or an hour with everyone else from all the fan sites and all that. And then after that we got more hands on experience with the game. I was recording all my experiences and everything like that. Um, and then after that, I think that was the end of it. No, it was not the end of it. We got our final Q&A with Jay Wilson back in the giant theater, which is pretty cool. That one was an hour and a half or an hour long, one of those. And Bash was sitting in on that. And he came in on the first one, too. Here's a cool little event for you. To see Lockdown and kill King Leoric. It pain locked down and have to kill his king. If you watch the lore video, which actually doesn't exist yet at the time that I'm recording this video, though it will in the near f future, so it could very well exist if you're listening to this after the fact. Um, so yeah, there's deadly orc, and then uh, so the Jay Wilson Q and A that was a lot of fun. Force recorded it. You can check out Force videos. He's got them broken down into different sections and depending on questions and all that. Who's the skeleton king again? Big epic event. And uh, in a solo play gameplay video, I tested out if the skeletons would keep coming from these pillars if you didn't destroy them, and yes, they would. However, 
it would not count towards a massacre bonus at all because it's just the same skeletons getting recycled over and over again which also means you don't get experience from the new kills so it's best just to dispatch with these as soon as possible and move on with your merry self and I'm getting beat up here so yeah, just kill the pillars as soon as possible then dispose of the rest of the friggin skeletons and then we're almost at King, King of Work. And I'm almost at the end of my story. I could go into greater detail, but this is not the time or the place. If anyone's really interested in that, I'll make a show about it. While I just do some background playthrough. So yeah, I had the J. Wilson Kuhn a playthrough, which I recorded on my camera, but Force was closer and he had some fancy new camera that he bought for the event, so his video quality is much better than mine. I didn't see the point in uploading mine. Um, and then after that, we got to go out to dinner with some of the other Blizzard employees from the other areas and Jay Wilson himself I sat behind a very nice gentleman super cool guy just had new twin babies that he was ranting on about and I sat with Ryan too had a delicious steak and shrimp dinner um, had a few beers with Bash before that and yeah all in all had an incredible freaking day uh, I got to meet Sixen and Force, both very cool guys. Force just, you could tell, he was the one out of everyone else there that you could tell was just as excited as me to be there. I mean, Sixen had been there before for some of the other events, the Star Tra StarCraft 2 and whatnot. To him it was old hat, and it seemed to most of the guys there. I sat across the table at dinner with another guy from uh, Game Informer. And he said, yeah, I've been used to it. And he made a comment that it was kind of cool to watch me and like the excitement of people who have never done that before. And just kind of feed off that. He said it was really cool to see. And it was such a cool experience. A little kid in, in a candy shop the whole time. So yeah, met some cool guys. Met Force. Force was cool. Sixon was cool. Everyone was freaking cool, man. It was just so awesome. Such an awesome experience. Couldn't believe it. And we're coming to the end of our video. Once we kill this little schlub here, I bet you work. The one thing I do want to note for this video is you'll see once we kill him in the playthrough on campus, you, uh, his throne actually opens up to a little staircase that leads down into some gold chamber full of magical loot. I'm just kidding. I have no idea what's down there because you couldn't go down there in the beta playing on the campus <sighs> but yeah his little throne opens up and there's like a little glowing blue pit that you can't go down but in this version the public one that they released they actually took that out and once you kill him it just ends he can still play the game and everything like that but <sighs> yeah <sighs> sorry I'm stretching good morning stretch Minions. Pansy. Click, 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 click. What I think is really cool is some of the spells, like for the wizard and whatnot, like the freezing spells, for example, or stunning spells, they actually work on big name bosses like King of Work. You have a freezing spell, which I did when I was playing with my something or other. He actually froze, and it was a viable tactic in fighting him. When he was going to summon, I would freeze him, and he wouldn't be able to summon. And it was pretty awesome. Big epic death scene. Congratulations, you beat Beta! So yeah, that's it for now. I'm gonna end this video. Ooh, he put a he put a mantra on. Cool, I didn't even notice. But yeah, I'm gonna sell my loot, uh, get some videos together, eat breakfast, all that good stuff, get these videos up. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time in the next video. Uh, I'll take suggestions on which ones you want to see. In the meantime, I'm out. Later, guys. Afterward.
Diablo himself raised Leoric from the dead as the Skeleton King until the 